This video is about differentiation of T lymphocytes. This is a, a sore topic for a lot of people and a lot of people tend to uh, struggle with it so I will try to put down everything I know about uh, T cell differentiation. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the bone marrow. So that's where it all starts. So anything above this yellow line is going to be our bone marrow. So in the bone marrow we have the pre-T cell being formed, okay? So anything above this yellow line is bone marrow, we have the pre-T cell. The pre-T cell comes to the thymus, okay? We have the pre-T cell uh, uh, coming to the thymus here and forms CD4 and CD8 cells. They differentiate into CD4 and CD8 cells. But before they go and make CD4 and CD8 T cells, our T helper O cells goes through something called positive selection okay and this positive selection happens in the cortex of the thymus okay so what exactly is positive selection so positive selection really means uh, the ability of the cell to at least bind to uh, the MHC class 1 or 2 weekly so what do I mean by that so for example that this is our T helper O cell and this has a T cell receptor right and this T cell receptor have to be able to bind to either MHC class 1 or MHC class 2 for it to do either of the functions either whether it's going to be cytotoxic or um, T helper cells it has to be able to bind MHC class 1 or 2 so if it can do it even weakly even if it has a little bit of ability to do that job, then they're positively selected. If they cannot do that job, then they are actually, they go through apoptosis and, apoptosis. and the reason for that is because if they let us, let those T helper cells, T helper O cells go, that they cannot bind to MHC class 1 or 2, they're going to be a problem because they're going to attack self, right? And they're going to destroy, they're going to cause autoimmune problem in the body. So that is positive selection. So positive selection is the ability of the T cell receptor that is going through selection uh, and its ability to at least bind to MHC class 1 or 2 with even with weakly. If it binds strongly then that's great whether they can bind to the MHC class 1 or 2 weakly. So that is positive selection and this positive selection happens in the cortex. And here is a, here is this histological section of, um, of a cortex. So let me orient you at what we're looking at. So you see these structures right here? These are the lobules. Okay? See how there is an inside lighter region and the outside darker region? So if I told you what would be the outside, uh, what would you say it is? It is the cortex or medulla? It's going to be the cortex, right? And the inside lighter region, it's going to be the medulla. So all these positive selection is going on in the cortex. Okay, That's what it really means. We have to be able to recognize the uh, histological section of the things that we're talking about because they can clearly give this little picture and then they, they can ask you where is um, the positive selection going on. So you know that the, it's the cortex that that's where the positive selection is going on.